first flight. Mine's so bad. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be taking a look at my latest RC plane that I built. This is a 56 inch wingspan Cessna 172 all built out of solid insulation foam purchased from the Home Depot. If you haven't seen the build video I'll put a link in the description and in the uh, top of the video you can check that out. And just so you know technically this isn't the maiden flight. I did fly it uh, like a week ago and I used a 4 cell battery but it was like way underpowered because this plane came in a lot heavier. So I covered this plane in fiberglass, which is the first time I've done that with a plane. Usually I just leave them just the bare foam and paint. But with the fiberglass, I thought it would make it more sturdy and a little bit shinier, make it look more realistic and more resistant to the hanger rash, getting a little dents in it from the grass and stuff. But that, in addition to um, a lot of 3D printed parts and making it probably a little bit too over-engineered, it came in about 500 grams heavier than my previous Cessna 172, which is almost exactly the same plane. That uh, made it a little bit too heavy for a four cell battery with the current motor setup. So I had to upgrade to a five cell battery. So here I'm using a five cell 1500 milliamp hour battery. So here you can see I'm testing the CG, trying to get it in the correct location. During that first flight it was a little bit tail heavy, and the reasons for it being tail heavy I think are mainly I increased the size of the horizontal stabilizer because I wanted to try to see if it would make it a little more stable along the pitch. Um, it really didn't actually, and it's really hard to tell being that it was so tail heavy. Additionally with um, the larger stabilizer and putting fiberglass over the entire plane, that's a lot of area behind the CG covering the fuselage and the tail surfaces with fiberglass. It just added a lot of extra weight. Also the motor is actually not as far forward as it was on the previous plane. This is due to the 3D printed cowling that I made and the motor's actually recessed into it probably about a half of an inch deeper into the fuselage than on the previous version. So all of this combined, the plane came in with the balance, the overall balance without the battery included a lot more tail heavy. This battery weighs about 230 grams and the previous four cell batteries I was using weighed about 160 grams. So even with that 230 gram new battery up in the nose, I had to add another four cell battery just as dead weight, another 130 grams into the nose battery compartment just to get it to balance out. Take two. So here I'm already thinking about a version 3 on what I can improve upon. So I got a couple different ideas. One is that if I continue using the same pink foam board from uh, Home Depot, it may not be necessary to cover the entire plane in fiberglass. Maybe just some of the um, like critical areas where I've noticed some cracks form on my previous planes. This would be like the uh, nose section around where the motor is connected. There's a lot of vibrations in that area of the plane. Also all of the uh, surfaces. The wing, I noticed there's some cracks in the um, front of the wing where it attaches to the fuselage on the old Cessna and then probably want to cover the entire leading and trailing edge of the wing and the, ed and the wing tips with fiberglass to prevent 
damage during transportation. And similarly for the tail surfaces to cover all of the edges. But then another idea I have is that maybe changing to use a different type of foam. I know there's this white type of foam, it's not as sturdy, but I think it's a lot lighter. You can get it still at Home Depot. It's covered in some kind of metallic cover, but I think you can peel it off. And I'm thinking if I can use that foam instead of the pink foam and then cover it entirely with fiberglass, it might end up being lighter. So it's just a couple things I might experiment with in the future. Because I really want to keep improving upon this design until I get one that is pretty resilient to damage and also looks really good and flies really good. You have to land it fast because it's so heavy. So you can see with all that extra weight, the plane has to come in pretty fast to land, even with the flaps down. And it's a lot more trickier to get a nice smooth landing. But overall, it looks pretty good in the air. It flies decently. I'm gonna keep improving upon the design to try to get it to fly a little better. And also with the five cell battery, the flight time was pretty good. I landed at about 10 minutes of flying and the battery cells were all at about 3.8 volts per cell, which is pretty good. And it also had plenty of power and I was only using a 10 inch propeller. So thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this, please uh, give the video a like, subscribe, check out some of my other planes and uh, check out the video on how I built this plane and have a good one.